What's going on guys and welcome to a brand new Satisfactory video where today it is special because blueprints have arrived. Yes, the most anticipated thing that, well, has been wanted uh, in Satisfactory, the most requested thing has finally arrived and it will arrive on the 15th of November uh, of this year. So next Tuesday, update 7 will be here. So what is the whole blueprint system? If for those that don't know or are new to factory games, blueprint systems are basically a way for us to pre-build something to actually put it into our build without building everything step by step. So you can kind of copy and paste it, basically. And I know so many people have been wanting this and so many people have, you know, stopped playing Satisfactory because it doesn't have a blueprint system because they would kind of want it. But now I know a lot of people are going to return. I was in live stream today and we did a live react of this uh reveal uh snut jace uh limb the devs were there and all that kind of stuff and we had a good time it was a good time i'm not gonna lie here's a little funny clip from uh the live stream where snut kind of jabated me and yeah you know okay. in fact i'll you know what i'll help you out i'll for you real quick what why is that doing that stop wait has he paused? Let's Wait. get into it. What is this machine we're seeing here? You know, what, what is its purpose? You know, what, what does it do? What <laughs> materials will be needed to construct it? Will it blend? Dick, and how much does it weigh? You fucking dick! So, <laughs> this machine is a designer. A designer that will aid you oh in God. creating blueprints. So yeah, that happened. And, uh, oh boy. Did he, uh, did he get me good? <laughs> anyway. Let's get back to it and uh, let's just go over the new uh, the new building. Ooh, didn't <laughs> see that one coming, did ya? You little shits. <laughs> so this right here is what the building actually looks like itself. Um, it is, you can see five foundations wide. I'm guessing five foundations back. Um, and ignore all the power poles, all that kind of stuff. That's just for snut to get around. Uh, and this design of the building is not finalized. So it will look a little bit different on Tuesday. So as we can see, he's trying to place down a constructor and the flooring is exactly what we thought it would be. Kind of like a grid and how like a 3D printer kind of works. So what he's doing right here, he's actually placing down Mark V belts. And the reason he's doing that, because with manifolds, you need to expand them, right? Uh, so he's kind of preemptively uh, future-proofing his build. Because if you put a Mark II down, you'll have to go back into the blueprint, edit it, upgrade your belt to Mark II, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it do we don't know when we're able to access the, uh, the blueprint machine. I would like it maybe around Tier 3 and 4. I wouldn't like it in Tier 1 and 2. Reason because it's early game, everyone needs to do a bit of manual labor in tier one and two. So I feel like this will be a perfect unlock within tier three and four around steel and may be used in case industrial beams to kind of make the actual building itself. Also, when you're placing stuff down within the blueprint, if you do like your recipes and you do your overclocking and all that kind of stuff, they will actually stay in there. And we can kind of see on this screen right here, the cost. So the, the what he's put down, that's what it's gonna cost him when he places down the blueprint. We have the blueprint name, the blueprint description, and we can also see a select icon and also uh, select uh, the image. So you can see he's kind of doing like the rod image right now, and you can select the color of the background in case you want to kind of categorize or anything like that. So you might want to use a different color background if you're using a Mark 1 belt, Mark 2, Mark 3, Mark 4, Mark 5, something like that. And then also at this point, there's this kind of directory system. So this is going to be in your X key, which is your customizer. And there's going to be a tab that says uh, blueprints. And this is what's going to come up. And you can see there's undefined cosmetics, manifolds, and org organization. That's something he's created as a player. So as a pioneer, you can create your subcategories. You can create your categories and organize everything into your play style. So the next thing he's showing here is actually just, he's got some pre-made foundation pieces, which is like four by four. And you can see that he's snapping them side by side in case you want to do some, uh, you know, larger skirt, uh, larger area um, foundations to the, instead of going by 10, 10, 10, 10, and so on and so forth. And yes, we can actually place them on our hotbar as well, which means, yes, I will be using my hot, uh, hotbar. I like, a lot of people say like, Bits, why do you not use your hotbar for build items? I have my way of building. I always use the middle mouse button and the E wheel and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, I like how I'm going to probably create like 10 different kind of blueprints now on my hotbar whilst keeping what I normally use on there, which is like one, two, three, and four. Um, I'm probably categorize them uh, with the colors on what they are. So maybe irons, coppers, all that kind of stuff. More than likely manifolds. But the cool thing is I'm probably going to do with it is like designs. 
So the reason I'll say I'll put design stuff in there is just because if I was to put like a pillar down like I normally do, and then I grab my small one behind it, uh, and I'll place this one in here. And this is how I normally do my, like my uh, lights that come out the, the walls. So I'll put this kind of like here, and then I'll remove this one and then connect my power pole to there. And then instead of me building this every time, I can make this design uh, on the blueprint uh, machine and then I can then store this as a blueprint so I can just, you know, blueprint this and paste it down wherever I want to. It saves me building it all the time. And just for clarification as well, he did state you cannot blueprint anything you have already got down in your world. So you can't get the blueprint uh, blueprint machine, blah, 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 <laughs> Jesus, blueprint machine and put it down underneath your already built factory and copy it. You can't do that. You have to go to the machine to build what you want and then save it in your customizer menu or user interface or all that kind of stuff. So the next thing he's showing us here is actually placing down the blueprint he's just made. And we can see everything goes in. As long as you have got the items it says on your blueprint uh, that it, well, the cost requirement, it will then build it. And then once he's done that, all he's gonna do is just literally connect up the outside connections. So he'll bring in the power line and then he will also bring in the ingots, um, which he's got a kind of like in a storage. So take it for example, like it's a factory and he's producing ingots. Uh, and then all he does is just connect that to his uh, bus lines. Uh, and as I said before, he has got uh, his fastest belts so he doesn't have to upgrade them in the blueprint later. So the next thing he's going to show us is his how to actually edit a already made a blueprint. So as we know, this is the rod one he's just made. He's going back through and just changing the plate, the recipe to plates instead of rods. And then all he needs to do is just go into your uh, blueprint uh, machine and then uh, just edit the details that it is and then save it you know as like you would or in a different category or whatever you know there's a cool little feature he actually shows here which is actually if you you know put it in the wrong category you can actually edit it and then drag it actually over into another subcategory or a category that you've made and just drop it in there simple and easy but also just to let you know that not all machines will actually be accessible to the actual blueprint itself they know about it and they are working on it or going to try and work on it i've just literally placed one down you can see the height of the coal machine and the difference between the refinery and the coal uh, generator um and it is you know a substantial difference we don't know if the refinery is going to fit in there yet just yet um but we'll find out on tuesday but i'll just say with a coal generator we could literally just cut the top of this off and it should fit in there I would think. So hopefully that gets adjusted in uh, future updates or even just future patches uh, and allows us to kind of utilize most of the machines. And now here's the big news, which I was shocked and so happy about. And what that is, is your blueprints actually save to your files. So if you wanted to share these with your friends, you can go into your uh, blueprints. So you go into your uh, factory game, your save, your save games and blueprints folder. Uh, and you'll actually see that in there. It does look like that's the directory right there, but this could be different on Snut. So take that with a grain of salt um, and then we'll find more info on that. But we can actually pass these on to friends. I will do the same uh, with some designs that I will. I'll probably create like a Google Excel sheet and put it up there. Uh, and you guys can then go over there and click some items if you want them into your base uh, without any hassle. So I think it'd be kind of a cool little feature. And I'm, uh, I'm super happy with it. Uh, but also, they're not restricted to your save that you're currently playing. So if you make it in your current save file now and you start a new save, them actual blueprints will transfer over to your new save. Uh, also, at the end, it kind of go on about the overclocking, which basically said um they do, they're still not making the change with all the linear and stuff but they are making overclocking a little cheaper uh so it won't be as drastic uh to your power grid and then there was a nice little quality of life feature at the end which was with zip lines so all you need to do now is hit shift and you can zoom across your power cables as long as there's no obstructions in the way to actually get some decent speed so yeah i'm like overall happy with this update with what's coming we've got we know we're getting the uh ceiling connectors and all that kind of stuff uh and i can't wait for that just to go from uh, you know the belt on the floor to the wall to the ceiling we are actually adding physical items and then to connect it it's kind of a bit a little bit less work um and uh yeah i'm super happy so i just wanted to kind of throw this video out there i know it wasn't like super structured or scripted or anything like that. i just kind of literally did this in one take and just cut it up so without further ado uh enjoy your weekend and uh i'm looking forward to the updates on
Tuesday, November the 15th. So keep smiling and I'll see you in another video.